Welcome back. Let's now put the focus and the spotlight on the metal space as global worries wane on the commodities market. Aditya Velekar, the Senior Research Analyst at Access Securities, joins us now. Good afternoon, Aditya. Aditya, there's been a lot of news flow over the weekend uh, in terms of, you know, Russia being asked to st stay away from the LME exchange. You know, a lot of news flow even in terms of uh, price action in the commodity space. How have you seen that, number one? And main question is that, you know, what has been Russia's contribution in that particular exchange itself? And what will be the derivative impact that you see on Indian, Indian companies? Yeah, so Russia, uh, Russia almost contributes six percent of global aluminium uh, supply. Uh, so that's a sizable number, and uh, five percent of global copper supply. So any uh, the impact will be uh, mostly on the supply demand disruption, but it will be a short term impact. Uh, over a medium term, this uh, Russian metal will be flown to uh, the. The, the the trade import barrier neutral countries like China. So the metal will flow to China at a discounted rate and uh, the supply demand balance will be maintained. Uh, but in near term, we expect a volatility in aluminium and copper prices. So uh, yesterday, since yesterday, so today aluminium prices have increased to a uh, level of uh, $2,600 per ton. And we expect this to remain slightly volatile in the near term, maybe at an elevated level. And then as the trade uh, supply normalizes, uh, we expect the prices to slightly settle down in the range of 2400 to $2,500 per ton. Okay. Aditi, thank you for that. Uh, if I may also ask, what is the contribution in terms of nickel? Because as you said, aluminum is around 6%, copper is around 5%. Is nickel also a big uh, uh, contributor here? And uh, secondly, which are the stocks which will be in focus in case you're talking about short-term volatility? Is this something that the uh, investor should keep on their radar in terms of movement? Yes, nickel, nickel is also, um, Russia is a major producer of nickel and 6 to 7 percent of supply globally of nickel comes from Russia. Norris Nickel is one of the major nickel producing company in Russia. So we expect a significant volatility in nickel prices. So, from a stock perspective in India, we, uh, we see um, this overall, the setup for base metals is very positive. So, we have seen recently that aluminium prices have increased from the level of 2200 to 2500 to 2600 dollars per ton. Then, zinc prices, copper prices have also increased. So, there are a host of reasons. Number one uh, is it the, the PMI prints from China, those are slightly on a positive note. Then. There are, there are some production concerns in Yunnan region, so that was supportive for aluminium prices. And um, the trajectory that the Fed will reduce uh, its uh, interest rates going forward. So all these uh, were favorable for this base metal pack. And uh, that has all these host of reasons have flowed in, uh, as a positive news flow for this pack and aluminium, copper, zinc, they, all these prices have found support. And this is mainly beneficial for Vedanta, Hindalco, Nalco. So all these base metal companies, the share price have also reflected the corresponding increase because of all these positive news flows in the past uh, past month. Uh, and I think we we further foresee some uh, valuation comfort in with respect to Vedanta because uh, fundamentally also the company has levers like they have uh, deleveraged their they have uh, restructured their uh, debt and. Um, uh, the kind of commodity basket they have, they have exposure to oil, zinc, uh, then aluminium, and all their expansion mm -hmm. projects will fructify oh. in FY25. So Vedanta still look, uh, even at this level, it, it has some levers and uh, legs to go up from at this level also. Aditya, you know, just to uh, come in there, can you or would you be able to give us a sense of the sensitivity analysis analysis in terms of, you know, what will be uh, the impact on, let's say, a Vedanta, a Nalco and a Hindalco, you know, with every jump in aluminium price that you're seeing. And you said that at current levels, you still see valuation comfort as far as Vedanta is concerned. Your view on Nalco as well as Hindalco. So Nalco is pure play aluminium and alumina play. Uh, it's the only company which is which have exposure to alumina. So alumina prices have also slightly increased. Uh, Hindalco is uh, is a combination of uh, aluminium and uh, custom copper. So um, Vedanta is a conglomerate. It has exposure to multiple uh, base metals like zinc, uh, 
aluminium, oil, and then it is also exposed to steel. Uh, but most of its commodity exposure, that is oil, uh, base metals like zinc, copper. Uh, uh, so all these are in a positive trajectory. So Vedanta has more levers to play out. Uh, and as I said, its balance sheet is also, uh, we, we foresee that its debt restructuring will happen and that gives some comfort on its valuation from valuation perspective. For Hindalpo, the only uh, monitorable is the, no, is, the, is the uncertainty towards Novellis IPO that we have to understand from the management that how they use the proceeds from the Novellis IPO. So that may act as one of the key monitorables for the stock going ahead. And also potential risk if the if the outcome from that IPO is not uh, against our expectation or favorable. So oh, that's our okay. view overall of the base metals. Okay. All right. Aditya, thank you so much for joining us today. We had some more questions, but we are out of time today. But thank you so much for joining us and making sense of the rally that we are seeing or the volatility, I would say, in some of these metal prices and the geopolitical setup as well. We'll do one thing. We'll slip into a break. As we do that, we have an announcement to share with you all. We are launching CNBC TV 18's first ever live personal finance webinar, CNBC TV 18 Accelerate Personal Finance Handbook with Sonia Shinoy, where she'll be joined by three well-known experts on Saturday, 11th May, 9 a.m. onwards. We'll be diving into everything you need to know to master your finances and learn how to grow your wealth, be it insurance, tax saving, managing your portfolio, retirement planning. There's lots to do and lots to learn. Whether you're in your 20s, 30s or even 40s, this live web webinar is for you. We have limited seats, so do not miss this chance. Register now. Scan the QR code to register or log on to cnbctv18.com and we'll see you on 11th of May.